I bought this toy chest at a thrift store. Out here it's called Habitat for Humanity. And uh, where people turn in stuff they don't need, they donate it. But look how cute this is. Look at, look at the top. Can you believe it? Like my little farm animals. I saw it and I thought, I don't believe it. Look how cute. It's got some scratches. I don't care for what I need. It's nice and big inside. Big chest. And I was looking for... Look, it even has cute, I can get a picture of it, cute sides with decorations, little handles. And I was looking for, I was going to get two kitchen cabinets used for my rabbits for the winter. I want wood all around them because those cages with tarps over, that's not enough. It's too cold. I saw this and I couldn't believe it. 30 bucks. I grabbed it. I'm going to cut out these two areas, this one and this one. Those are the perfect size for my rabbits. In the middle where the duck is, inside, I'm putting a partition, a screening, or like a grate. So my buck bunny is going to go in this side, and the two girl bunnies are going to go in this side. And they'll be warm. They can. They have the warmth through the winter. They can go in there. They'll be perfectly dry. And um, I'll still have a tarp above the whole thing and projecting forward for them. And so I'll, I, I think I'm just going to put some gray carpeting in there. They do their business. As long as they can go outside, they do their business outside. And uh, in their pens. I got 20-foot pens for them. And other winters, I've kept them in my garage. But um, the advantage is I don't have to go out in the cold to feed them twice a day or anything. They're right here in my attached garage. But it's messy. And uh, so I think they, they much prefer being outside anyway. And they can run out when they feel like going potty outside, which they're more most comfortable with. So I'll show you what, what I've done so far is I've drilled... Uh, four holes here and then I have a jigsaw and I'm going to uh, connect the holes but look at this shape even how cute for a bunny entrance <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I saw it I couldn't believe it so uh, I'll show you every so often as I go along here so my trusty old rusty jigsaw. Look at this! In a million years it was meant to be. Look at that perfect bunny hole. Look! This was in it. I could put a hinge on this and open it up. Open or close it. Can you believe it? How cute is that? How cute is that? I'm going to do the one on the other side now. But I, this was meant to be. I was meant to find this little toy chest for 30 bucks, hidden behind all these other big high hutches. I happened to glance a little bit and look. It's ideal and just darling. And painted red like my barn and like my chicken uh, coop. You can't make it up. And beautiful farm animal designs. So... I'm about halfway done, probably more than halfway. How cute is that? Two perfect bunny holes. Yeah, look at that. Everybody's interested. Two perfect bunny holes. And now I have to separate in here. So uh, Romeo's on his side, and the two girls will be on this side. And he's a big bunny, so. He'll be the size of two bunnies. This isn't real big, but this is to keep them warm in the winter. All wood. I'll probably put some carpeting on the inside over those uh, two holes that they can just go in and out and to their pen. So they shouldn't be doing their business in there. They'll, they'll go out in their pen and do it. 
as long as they can get out there. But can you believe how cute this is? I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I thought, wow, better than two kitchen cabinets. So there'll be a lot of body heat in there then from three rabbits. And they can snuggle. I'm putting uh, some type of, I'm still deciding what I'm putting in between there where the, in the middle of where that duck will be across there. And uh, so they can snuggle through it. And the, the heat of three big bunnies in that small area, that should keep them warm enough. I decided to use these cubes I have. Um, I mean, you make cubes out of them. They're 14 by 14. And um, I made Romeo's cage, whole cage out of them. But I'm going to put them, I'll put, I'll uh, use cable ties to tie, tie them together and then I'll make uh, little holes on each side here and pull the cable ties through it and that should do it. Then it's easy if, if later if I just want a bunch of bunnies to be in here by themselves without the partition it's easy just to take it out. So that's what I'm going to do. So you can see how I did that. I'll just trim that excess off now. These are the uh, cable ties I used. I could have used shorter ones, that's for sure. I'll put a, um, that's just what I had handy. So I'll put a, a few more on there to secure it. I don't want Romeo to get through there. But look, they can still snuggle and be warm next to each other through there. They do that now through the fence in their pen. And, um, so now I'm just going to drill some little holes and stick the cable ties through little holes through here. It will hardly be noticeable. And uh, they uh, are going to have some clearance here on the top. It looks like about three inches, but they can't whittle through there. So uh, they're too big for that, that's for sure. But they can still kiss. They can give little kisses, and I know Romeo will, and the girls will love it. Okay, I'll continue on and show you more. When I cut these off, I'm going to leave uh, maybe a half an inch that I could uh, I could grab it with uh, pliers uh, later and pull it if I need to, if they start getting a little loose. They usually don't, but a lot easier. Leave a little, leave a little on there. I'm going to pick a drill bit to drill through the wood here that's just uh, that looks about right that this cable tie will go through. Not too big, not too small. Give that a go. So here are the holes. Here are the holes I, made, I drilled. And now I'm going to stick the uh, black cable ties through there and secure the grate. So you can see I've got these cable ties uh, on the front and on the back. And if we look inside, you'll we'll see. partitions in there. So now I'm going to put, um, it's going down to like 22 or something tonight. So I'm going to put some uh, snuggly, big fluffy towels, big ones, on each side there for them to snuggle into and with each other. And um, I'm going to put a, a blanket over the top of this. Uh, box also but it's going to be I'm, I'm moving their cages so it's going to be up to their pen so if they want to go out they can go out and do their business so uh, I'll have to put something on the top of this because if they're in the pen they could jump you know right up here even you know with this this isn't very tall but this is the idea keep it warm and snuggy 
you don't want a real big area. You want the heat to stay in. That's the plan. So I'll show you more in a few minutes. I gotta, I gotta get this done. It's starting to get dark already. I thought I'd show you uh, how this turned out. It's supposed to get ugly tonight. I, I had the... Listen, you two. Let me walk. Those are my duck slippers. I, I can't walk. Look, I'm trying to walk and I got these duck slippers. But uh, I just put this tarp up and I put the some um, one by threes. You can see in the middle there higher than the four foot dog fence <coughs> so that the rain and snow falls off of it, thank goodness. And back there is the little bunny hutch, and they love it. I just put them out there. They love it. It's doing just beautifully, isn't it? You like it, yeah. 